Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Q900 8K QLED TV. Now you're going, wait, now we're at 8K. Yes, Samsung has decided this year 8K is the thing to see because this TV will automatically upscale all your content, that's including games, which we'll be checking out in this video, into 8K resolution. Now, it does not support native 8K through HDMI because nothing actually outputs in 8K yet, unless you've got a, uh, a red camera or something like that. But for the general audience, that's just not the case. So this will upscale your Netflix, your Hulu, whatever content you're watching, plus your games into 8K. And that's what we care about in this video. So we wanna take a look at some of those games. Now, the TV itself is a beautiful looking TV. By no stretch it means it's not a thin TV set. This thing is kind of hefty, so you do need two people to actually set it up. I've got the 65 inch here. Uh, it ranges from 55 all the way to about, I think, 98. Pricing starts at 2,499 for the 55. The 65 is about 3,499 which I think is quite reasonable for AK TVs. You've seen other TVs out there where there's OLEDs and other things that have pricing around that, but Samsung says, look, we're giving you a step ahead. Now, what I like about this TV is when you look at the blacks on this TV, they are great. Just looking at that uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare logo print, it looks ridiculous. And this is a QLED, it's not OLED. It looks, the blacks look really sharp. The lead is clear. There's no like blooming of white light anywhere around it. It looks good. Yet, you've got a couple of functions that I think a lot of TVs need to catch up with Samsung. Last year, this was the, the Samsung QLED TVs were probably the best for gaming. And this is looking like no slouch either this year. It's got a dedicated game mode, which automatically turns on when your consoles, which are connected to your TV, uh, turn on. You can manually turn it on, especially if you're playing PC games, uh, because this also supports FreeSync as well. So connecting your PC to this, Works like a charm. Now, to connect everything, you need, it has a one connector box. Uh, it's got four HDMI ports. The second one is an ARC port, uh, which connects to your soundbar. And I'll talk about the soundbar in a second. And then uh, you've got the fourth one, which basically supports, of course, your PC. So you can use the maximum resolution out there. You can plug into any one if you have a PC, but the fourth one gives you, you know, full, uh, full PC support. Now, speaking of a soundbar, this is also connected to the Samsung Q90R soundbar. They've got the Q80, Q70, and Q60. The reason the Q90 is what I'm using with this is because it actually fits in between the spacing where the TV stands are. So it fits nice and snug. It's designed that way. And this thing gives a lot of oomph. Wait till you hear some of that gunplay in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Since it came out this weekend, I had to play it. I mean, but that soundbar is really, really good. The volume is, is low, but it really kicks completely. So I'm gonna show you console games. I'm gonna show you some PC games, and then I'll show you also some mobile games on here to see how it actually works with this uh, TV set. Like I said, the game mode can be turned on um, it turns out automatically for your consoles, but you can go ahead and change, mess with the settings. There's also game mode for audio as well to give you enhanced sound uh, for your gaming, which we gamers love if you're playing uh, action shooters or you're playing something like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, whatever the case may be. This thing does a fantastic job, especially with the audio. That sound bar is a killer. I mean, I, I was quite impressed, but you don't care about that. So let's take a look at console games first, then we'll go to PC games. But we'll start off, of course, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare because it came out this weekend and uh, at least the alpha. I know I'm terrible, guys, but just enjoy what you've seen here. Don't mind my gameplay. I'll get better eventually.
Console games looked absolutely fantastic on there. Uh, 8K upscaling is pretty good. Uh, that's what it does. It upscales content. It doesn't. Help. There's no uh, na native 8K output, so you get that upscale feature. So the games you played, uh, you know, Forza Horizon 4, Mortal Kombat, um, those look really. Good. Even Call of Duty World War II, that also looks really nice. You know, upscaling 8K. You can see a lot of the detail there. The upscaling is really solid now. Now let's talk about PC games. How does it actually fare? So I plugged in my PC. Um, I played a couple of games. Played um, some uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood as well as also uh, some Tomb Raider. And you see how it works. You can also see the frame rates on the screen. Again, it's got free sync, so that's also something you can take advantage of. If you're one of those PC gamers that you know you've got a really nice rig, you want to take advantage of this big TV, you can plug it in. Uh, you don't actually have to push out 8K because it just upscales the content for you. But take a look at these games here on PC. deep into the jungle. You lose your tour group or something? No. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not.
So we talked about console games and we also talked about PC games. You've seen those there. Uh, and the audio, there I forget, the audio from that, this sound bar is impressive. Audio on the TVs is good, it's good, but the sound bar really just takes it to a whole new level. You wanna get that, um, you know, it's, it's got, you know, Dolby Atmos, it's got really rich sound, it is super nice, really good. Uh, but mobile games, I mentioned mobile games. You know, you've got the ability to, to uh, smart share, smart for you, off your Galaxy Note 10, your Galaxy devices. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of PUBG, as you guys know, with all the mobile gaming I've been doing, trying to get better in PUBG uh, with this. So I decided to go ahead and just, you know, you know, technically cast it out to the TV. And I gotta say though, uh, I was quite impressed. Lag was minimal. There's some, some occasions where, you know, I could have fired a little bit faster, but it worked out really, really well. And uh, you know what, just, just take a look. All right guys, so there you have it. That is gaming on the Samsung Q900 8K QLED TV. I've been quite impressed. Uh, I wish I could show you some of the TV content I also watched on this. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek uh, Next Generation on Netflix, that's 720p. This thing looks really good in 8K. Uh, I just didn't want to put it up in case I get a copyright strike, but trust me, if you're watching old content on this, it looks really, really good. So you can go into your, your old DVDs, um, all the content you have. Um, it looks really nice. Even some of my own YouTube content that was 720p, which you can see right here, looks really good on this TV. I really can't complain. I mean, anyway guys, if you have any questions or any comments about this TV, you wanna pick it up, we'll have a link for you down below. I am quite impressed and I think this is probably the best gaming TV of this year so far. I've got a few other TVs to check out, so, you know, I'm not putting it out there, but basically what I've experienced from this has been golden and I can't complain. So let me know your thoughts, leave your uh, comments down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.